Some people are troubled by this question. What about those who've never heard the gospel for themselves? What will happen to them? Well, first of all, let me say this, that God is a God who is just. He is the judge of all the earth. And the Bible puts it like this, shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And of course the answer is, yes, he will. He will do right and he will be seen to be right. So what about those who've never heard? Well, the Bible teaches this, that in the very beginning of the human race, when God made man at the beginning, man was perfect, but he went astray. He rebelled against God. He sinned, to use a Bible term. He did his own thing. He stopped following the God who made him. And at that point, the Bible teaches this, that mankind was lost from God. And all of us, as we've come into this world, have been born with that sinful nature. We do wrong because we are sinners and wrong deserves punishment. And God is a just God and he does and he will punish sin. But the good news of the gospel is this, Jesus came to rescue us. Just like a lifeboat is launched from the harbor to rescue those who are drowning, so Jesus was sent from heaven to rescue those of us who were drowning in sin. And now the great news of the gospel is this, all, whoever they are, wherever they are, whatever they've done, can get into the lifeboat and can be saved. And you know, the Christian is commanded to go into all the world with this message and invite as many as possible to get into that boat. Those who do will be saved. Those who don't will be lost. Friends, you may ask about those who've never heard, but you have heard this message. You do have a responsibility, firstly, to get into the boat yourself and then to go and see how many others you can persuade to get into that boat as well.